My name is Rosie Razzle. I'm a curator and a trustee here at Turner's House. In about 1806, Turner embarked on a really ambitious project to engrave around 100 prints after his own landscape views, and he called this series the Liber Studiorum. This print here is one of the first views that Turner engraved for the Liber Studiorum. It's one of the prints that he was involved in the actual etching of. It's one of his own views. It's after a drawing of the valleys of the Severn and the Wye, um, with Chepstow Castle in the distance. What I love about this print is that it's a British landscape, it's a British view, but Turner's painted it as if it's one of these great Italian landscapes that Claude had painted a century earlier. One of the really interesting things about these prints is if you look closely, you'll notice that there's some letters at the top. So you might see an M or an EP or a P. And these are Turner's categories, so the M is for marine, the P is for pastoral, and the EP is for epic pastoral. In this landscape, he's referencing Dutch 17th century masters, and particularly a kind of more uh, rustic form of landscape. So you have the windmill on the prow of the hill with the cattle, and this is a kind of lower category of landscape that he's emulating. In this print, we have a, a very different type of landscape altogether. This is again based on a drawing that Turner had made himself while on a tour of Switzerland. So it shows the Swiss Alps and it's a dramatic mountain pass and you can see the really dramatic differences between dark and light in this image. And in this landscape, Turner's expressing how nature could inspire feelings such as awe and terror and fear. And so we can see the precipitous, rocky outcrop with this little donkey that's making its way through the dangerous path. And this, yeah, shows a different type of landscape altogether. 